Summertime usually comes with warmer weather and days spent at the beach. But it also marks the start of hurricane season, and this year, experts are warning many of us to keep a close eye on the sky. Meteorologist Pete Bangioni has the story that's new at 5.30. Hurricane season is about a month away, and some forecasters are already weighing in on what could be a very active season. It's been almost 19 years since Hurricane Bob battered the New England coast. Could another Bob be in the works? It's too early to answer that, but weather giant AccuWeather is predicting a very active season. They expect five landfall hurricanes in the western Atlantic basin, with two to three of those striking land as major hurricanes. One of the reasons for the aggressive prediction boils down to ocean temperature. The waters of the Atlantic Ocean between the Caribbean and Africa have been much warmer than normal this winter. Many hurricanes get their start in this area, and they like nothing more than warm water. More hurricanes in the western Atlantic doesn't necessarily mean we will see a southern New England landfall, but it's a question which will continue to hang over us as we head into the hurricane season, which starts in June. Another reason for the predicted increase in hurricanes is a weaker El Nino. El Nino tends to squash out a lot of western Atlantic hurricanes, which may be one of the reasons we saw a less than impressive 2009 season. Look for El Nino to loosen its grip this year, which might make the 2010 season one to remember. The upcoming season is being compared to the years of 1964, 1995, and 1998. During those years, the U.S. coast saw major destruction, but New England was actually spared. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.